Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Stitch Fix unboxing and try on. This is my very first time trying Stitch Fix so this is all brand new to me too. But basically how it works, how I did it anyway, is I created a profile, I downloaded the app, and you take a style quiz which I will insert a video on how you kind of go about it and what the style quiz kind of entails. And then a personal stylist will be assigned to you and they will pick out based off of your style quiz items of clothing that they believe that you would like to keep or would like to try on. You have 10 days once your box arrives at your door to try on everything in your box and then return what you don't want to keep. They provide a bag and return label for anything that you do not want to keep and if you do want to buy anything, you just go right on the app or you go right on your profile and you decide what you want to purchase and you kind of give a little review for everything. I will insert a clip of that as well later on in the video. But if you guys are interested in following along, please like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy! Also guys, I forgot to mention this before, but Stitch Fix has a referral element on their app where you can share your referral link with friends via email or social media. I will link mine down below in the description box if you guys are interested in trying it. If you guys do end up clicking my link and trying it, that'll give me a $25 credit in case I do want to try this again. And if you guys create your own account and refer other people, you guys will also earn those $25 credits every time you refer people and other people get a fix of their own. So if you guys are interested, please try it out for yourselves and let me know down below what you guys think of it. On your style profile, you include clothing sizes, body shape, your preferred clothing fit, categories you're looking for, denim preferences, jewelry, category price, and your personal info, including an about you section that you can fill in to let your stylist really know what you're looking for. So now we're going to unbox my very first Stitch Fix box, which I'm very excited about. So you guys saw me unbox it a little bit, but we're kind of going to go through the box a little bit before I show you guys what I got. So it started off with this little oh hello envelope, which kind of tells you each item that you got and kind of suggestions as to what to pair each of the items with if you have them in your closet or just, just kind of little ideas on a card and it also has a little note. The other thing she left is a pricing sheet which we will go over afterwards after I try everything on. So those are two of the things that she put in the box on the side. The second thing, as I've said before, is a bag with a return label on it. She provided two just in case if I need it more than one, but these are return bags. And lastly, she gave me my little bundle. So we are going to open this and we are going to pick every piece apart before I try them on. According to this paper, the first item that she added in my bundle, I kind of broke it apart, is the Excelia, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm so not good with names and labels, is the Excelia textured crew neck pullover in a light blue. When I first saw this online, I don't know if you guys can see this very well, I'll be trying these on so you'll see them a little bit better. When I first looked at the pictures online, I thought it was like an aqua color. Still really pretty, but I like I like the blue a lot. So we're gonna try that on. The next item is the Nikki Pointel three-quarter sleeve pullover in a light gray, which I really love the cross design just by looking at it. This next one is this Wisp Nicola knit dress. It's like purple and blue floral. It's like a little sundress. It's so cute and it's definitely has some stretch to it which I really like in a dress because they're more comfortable. It's actually really cute. The fourth item is a West Key or West K. Allen surplice tie sleeve high low blouse. It's like a little floral top, which would be very, 
very cute for, for work or for formal gatherings and whatnot. It's like gray, black, and white. I don't know if you guys can see the colors really. I'll kind of zoom in a little bit on that. But it's really, really cute. Very like decorative. And then last, not very exciting, but something that could always be of use for me is the Ellie Skinny High Rise Jeans STS Blue, which I love darker colored jeans and I specified in my style for jeans that I love skinny jeans so we are going to try all of this on and then I will give my personal review with all of them and then I will show Chris's reaction each time so let's get started okay guys so first impressions of this outfit I tried on the first top the light blue one and I have the jeans I paired it with a pair of booties that I have already have and I really love the jeans they're a little bit I mean they fit nicely I like a little I don't like them overly snug I like to have a little bit of room they fit really nicely I love the color of them I like the top. The only thing I do not like about it is it's very long, but it is very comfortable. It's actually pretty warm, which I'm kind of surprised by because shirts like this are normally not very warm. But overall, I think it's actually a pretty cute first outfit. Now I am going to show Chris and see what he thinks about this outfit. These are the new jeans. And the, and the that's pretty cute. It looks like it looks it looks like something you've worn before. Yeah, it's kind of similar style. I mean, do you like hmm. it or is there something about it? It's actually quite very loose. loose. I remember now. This is like those sweaters you wear, the, the holy ones that always get my watch caught up or my you know, glasses. It's, it's it's funny though because it's actually surprisingly warm. I don't know about what you think of the length. For me, it feels a little long. Maybe it's because I have a short. Yeah, it looks so. like it looks like a comfy sweater, you know but it is a little long. I do like the jeans. Those are I, nice. I think, I think, I, I really like the jeans. They're comfortable. The only thing that's uncomfortable. Yeah, those are really nice. Here, turn around. No, a little slower than that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like the jeans. You should, I think you should keep those. The next outfit I tried to try on, the jeans are the same from before, is the light gray quarter sleeve. I actually like this one a lot more. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now you guys can, but there's a little cross in the front, which I think is adorable, and I really like the style of it. I actually really like this one. It's not super tight, and it's not super baggy either, so it's still flattering. I actually really like the design on it. It has like these cool like stitching designs, which I've never had a shirt that was like that before, but it still feels surprisingly warm. I actually really, really like this shirt. Now time for Chris's reaction. Hey, I like that one a lot better. That's actually a really nice outfit. Yeah, I really like the cross in the front. I've never actually seen that in the front. That's a good one, is that comfy? So you like this one better than the first oh, one? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. So if you had to rate, the green or the light blue one versus this one. Like well, on a scale of one to ten. Yeah, if you had to. Uh, I would give that one like a solid seven, eight. I'd give the other one like a five or a six. Okay, so this one's like slightly better, but going towards. Slightly the... better, man. It's still good. Okay, so the next one is the tie sleeve here, high low blouse. I really do like. The look of the front as i said i really like the v-shape on me the only thing i am not really obsessed with is the fact that when i put it on the sleeves are incredibly tight so it, you kind of have to adjust it when you put it on plus i'm not always a fan of it being slightly longer in the back i know that's a really popular style but i'd rather it be like kind of all the same other than that, I really do and like the design of it. It's very, really, it's really comfortable. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys think that this is a yes or no? Let me know in the comments down below. The blouse style. Ooh. 
That's pretty. Kind of reminds me of kimono. I like it. What do you think of the back? It's a little longer in the back. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe if you tucked it in. What would you rate this if you had to give it? Like, do you think it's better than the blue shirt or a little bit lower than the blue shirt? I really like the style and the colors. Yeah, I like the colors too. The I can give it like an eight on that and the fit maybe a six or seven. Okay, so the next one is the purple and black and blue floral dress. I just paired it with a simple pair of closed black toe shoes. They said in the style guide you can kind of pair it off with either like a little black handbag or you can kind of dress it down and make it more casual with a little jean jacket. I only have one jean jacket, but I'm gonna try it on with that and see how I like it. Okay, so even dressed down, I think this is actually a really cute outfit. I think the jean jacket makes it more casual, like you can kind of go out on a spring evening, you know, once everything clears out and you can have something to keep you warm when it gets cooler out. And then if you take it off during the summer, you have something that's both kind of dressy but also super casual. I like that it has kind of like a stretchy waistline so it cinches your waist. And I really love it with these pair of heels and pair it with my hair up to make it look a little bit more dressy and girly. This one's a high contender, but we'll see see what Chris thinks. So is said you can dress it up or dress it down. Wow. It's kind of hard in this lighting to see the pattern. That is beautiful. Wow, I love the color, the fit, and the form. You look gorgeous. I haven't seen you in heels in a while either. Yeah. You know what my favorite part is? My hair's on. Your hair. <laughs> I did that intentionally for you. <laughs> Hands down, my favorite. Um, Absolutely. Is it like a 10 out of 10? Definitely a 10 out of 10. Keep it. 100%. Okay, so we are going to discuss the prices of all of the items in my Stitch Fix box according to the pricing sheet that Brianna provided me, my stylist. The three quarter sleep pullover, this gray one. The second one I tried on. According to the pricing sheet, it is $42. The next shirt, according to the pricing sheet, which I have right here, is the Excelia textured crew neck pullover, which is the light blue shirt, the first shirt that I tried on. Like I said, it kind of actually looks gray in the photos, but it's actually like a lightish blue, kind of like a greenish blue. And according to the style sheet, this pullover is also $42. Next item is the tie sleeve, which is the little uh, dressy top that they gave me to try on. And this is, this is also $42. The next one is the Nicola Knit Dress. Weirdly enough, which I'm kind of surprised by because normally when I buy dresses, I go to H&M, I go to Target, I, I, get, I get my stuff pretty cheap. Um, dresses are normally $14 to $20 normally, sometimes like $25 for me. This is actually the most expensive item in the box. I really love it though. Um, it's definitely a contender for sure. But the Wisp dress is $68. A lot of things are factoring in to what I decide to choose because like I said, ultimately the reason why I started doing Stitch Fix or decided to try it out for the first time is I am really looking for a really nice dress for my engagement photo shoot, something that I could use for obviously multi-purpose. but. The main objective and what I added in my note is that I wanted something for my engagement photo shoot. So last item were the high rise jeans. They were high rise, yeah, high rise jeans, the skinny, the skinny jeans. So 
I really loved how comfortable they were and I always wear skinny jeans and I love I prefer the dark wash on jeans and those were $49 the stylist pick subtotal would be $243 but for if I were to buy all of them it would be 25% off which would take off 60 75 leaving the order subtotal to be 182 25 but when you subtract $20 which is the styling fee that you put down initially when you want a stitch fix that the order total would be 162 25 for the entire box okay guys so it's a few days later and I decided I would go over what I finally decided to either keep or return, starting with this big bundle, which doesn't look so nice and folded up, but I did fold it. Starting with the first thing on the pile, which is the skinny high-rise jeans. Pretty sure you guys can't see that, but like that. I've decided I was going to return these. It's not like I didn't like the jeans, it's just that I do prefer the mid-rise jeans a little bit more. I feel like that these high-rise jeans in particular were just a little too high up on my waist. And also, I'm used to having jeans that are a little bit wider up on the top, which because they're normally more comfortable for me, but I'd rather have my jeans be a little bit tighter on my thighs and my ankles and everything themselves. And these jeans were just a little bit too baggy for me. I'm, I'm kind of in that awkward in-between size of a zero to two. I'm a little bit too curvy for a zero and I'm a little too small for a two. I'm actually like a size one. Next we have the Nicola knit dress. Although it is $68 and is the most expensive thing in the box, I've actually decided to keep it because I just like the way it looked and I know for other things it'll get really good use out of it. And then the next thing is the West Key or West Kai high sleeve high low blouse. But I decided to return this one. I just did not like how tight the sleeves were, the tie sleeves were, it was very hard to get on and off for me. And as much as I like the color scheme, I just, I'd rather be a comfortable when I wear clothing. So yeah, I decided to return this one too. Next one is the blue shirt, the Exelia textured crew neck pullover. While I do love the style and I do wear a lot of shirts that are very similar to this, and I do like the style and it was comfortable, but I've decided to return that as well because it was just a little too long. If it was slightly shorter, I probably would have kept it. And then lastly, we have the Nikki Pointel three quarter sleeve pullover, which had the cross in the front. And I have actually decided to keep this one. I fell in love with the design and the pattern as soon as I put it on. I thought it was very unique that they put the cross in the front. So yeah, I've decided to keep it because I know I'll definitely wear it. So of all five things, I decided to keep two, which although I wouldn't consider that super successful, I have to say for a first box that to me is actually pretty good and I think my stylist Priyana really captured what I do like. So I'd have to say that this was actually kind of fun and a really enjoyable experience for me. I am actually kind of looking forward to doing another one of these. If you guys want to see more of these Stitch Fix reviews, please comment down below if you guys would like to see them or what you guys would like to see next. So now I'm going to show you guys the checkout part of the app where you get to choose which things you decide to keep, you decide to like exchange, you can exchange for different sizes or decide to return. So I'll show you guys that now. On the form, you choose if you're keeping, returning, or exchanging the item. Then you rate the fit slash cut, quality, and price of the item before you write comments. Then you proceed to purchase your items you're keeping. That's it, guys.